and area of effect damage, and Secret has all of the above. It's looking, I, I really like their draft so far. No, it's good. I, I, I think this is really solid. I, I think Zeus has been really underpicked this tournament. It, it got like picked a lot, like it, at least in the online like tournaments that I've seen, and I don't know, maybe even in Dream League to a certain extent yeah. as well. Um, well, it's uh, ET has been banned a lot more than it has typically. Some teams don't like running it without the ET. Right. I do like that. There doesn't seem to be a consensus whether Zeus is a support or a core, because we see pretty much equally in both scenarios. Which well, do you it think is stronger? On, depends on the team. I personally think core is a lot stronger. Yeah. What uh, do you mean by support? How often does he play? Are you talking about four? Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Cloud 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 Nine, does it all the time for Cloud Nine. Yeah. That sounds dirty. But that's about. It, I, I think yeah, that might be the only team. There might have been like another European team that I've seen do it, but yeah, I think it's a lot better. Uh, the VPs, one of the VPs. Yeah, 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 right. yeah This yeah. is the Zeus Master here, dude. Seconds. He needs levels, man. He does. He does. But but that's the that's the thing that Cloud Nine are so good at. Yeah. Is just making sure that they they get NVA into the jungle or or move somebody around and then get AUI into a lane as soon as possible and just give them as many levels as possible as well. But this is this is not going to be a Zeus support. This is going to be a Zeus core. This yeah. is probably going to be S four mid for for the most part because you already have the Injuria Elder Titan. Ooh. And El that's a Naga Siren as well. Which this is probably going to be safe lane Kuroki Naga Siren coming out. I think. I don't. See they could run it mid and maybe have the Zeus safe lane, but I don't know if that's going to happen. We'll see. It's well, going it's to be the battle. Point, Naga. It's going to be the battle of illusions between the Terrorblade illusions and the Naga Siren illusions. Just well, EG doesn't have any BKB heroes. I mean, Terrorblade kind of, but usually you'll see Manta Scotty. Yeah, yeah. So I think the Sleep Initiate is like really good here. Sleep plus uh, Earth Splitter and Ravage and Zeus Ult. That is brutal. Yeah. And this way they can bypass the Venom Wards too. And just like sleep and just kind of ignore them. Do the Venom Wards fall asleep? They don't. No, they don't. Freaking structures. I know, right? <laughs> you can't TP to them with Boots of Travel, so they're not really structures. It's freaking... What are they? They're what do you gadgets. Call them? Uh, no, actually, there's a name. I forget, too. Yeah. Uh, it's a Warcraft 3 name. They were... Uh, uh, something. Don't look at me. I don't know, guys. It'll, it'll come back. Wraith King coming out for Evil Genius is their last One pick. King, guys. Oh, good pick. Zy Wraith King, potentially? Uh, no, I think it's Zy... Oh. oh, no. What PP... Veno, okay. okay. Veno. They are doing support Venomancer. I'm not sure how I feel about this. But so it's a core ogre. Yes, core yes. ogre for fear. He loves playing this mid, and he was talking about this yesterday. Mm -hmm. He like when uh, the team started first doing this, the, especially the North American teams, the Root Gaming Squad with Talera, was super hyped about it. And then all the other big teams started to pick it up as well. And it was like there for like a month, and then after that month, it just never happened again. I never saw like core ogre mid again after that month or period of time. So I'm excited to see how this works out for them and. Um, the Wraith King is going to get picked up, and this will be a Zyra Wraith King. And this is one of his better known heroes. He'll be able to farm up maybe a Midas. Has he even lost with a Wraith King? I, I remember that about a month ago, his record was like 17 0. Maybe Brian can shed some light into that. Thumbs Correct. up. It sounds like you're good, man. That's actually really impressive. I didn't even know that that was his. Yeah. Oh my. Zy. He's quite the player. Uh, the only hero in a squad of Americans. What a guy. Yep. Uh, I really like, even though it's a really old set, the Simba Tide Hunter. That's really old what, school. The what pirate. about uh, like the all the whole sets? Yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. It's very simple, you know. And S4 sets even better. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Zeus needs some cosmetics. Zeus Se needs some changes. Seventeen so and zero. Called it. That's yeah. That's insane. He needs squiddles. Seventeen man. and zero. What? He needs squiddles. Squiddles. Wait, squiddles. how many of these teams are oh, like the, uh, tier one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're not the offense. No, a lot. Yeah. It's yeah. a cool stuff toy. I think awesome. I mean, they have played a lot of American you teams as well. You talked about this last time. When we were talking about Ty's got Tide Cosmetics. <laughs> <laughs> Unless you consider Cloud9 and I don't know. Do you guys consider Cloud9 NA? Euro. They're mostly here, I'd say. They have yeah, I understand players. why they need to play on half and half. on East because of the Vancouver being West. Yeah, AUI yeah. just destroys that team because of that. Yeah. <laughs> just like, guys, I'm from Vancouver. I get like 250 ping. Like I was talking to Conrad. If they if they both lived in Toronto, then it would probably be they probably play in Europe. Yeah. They play on Lux all the time. Yeah, it wouldn't be yeah. an issue, but. Vancouver is a... Uh, That's as far west well, as you go, basically. Yeah, yeah, maybe they win TA5 on a condo in Spain or something. Start boot camping. Yeah. That would be. That's a, that sounds like an expensive spot. Yeah, no, Spain. Spain is not expensive. Really? Though. Yeah, it's like Greece. They're having a lot of economic problems. Like, wow. <laughs> I don't move there. <laughs> <laughs> you, just, you really did not sell that well, man. <laughs> it's a great vacation spot. Everybody's poor. <laughs> I'm just giving stuff away. No, but if you have a, an income that comes from outside the country, then, right. like, I don't You're know, $2,000 and you have a mansion or something. I don't know. Easy. Really? $2,000 yeah. mansion. Man, I can move there. Let's go. <laughs> I gotta good. learn Spanish, though, first. Ay, ay, ay. 
All right, here we go. The landing stage is shaping up right now. Zai's going to be top fear, and uh, S4 going toe-to-toe -to -toe mid lane. And he's going to get uh, he's going to get arc lightning, but he also is probably going to throw some ignite harass as well. And this should be too bad of a lane for fear, I think, until lightning bolt starts getting leveled up. So mm -hmm. yeah, it should be fine. It's rarely a bad lane versus Zeus. You can just bottle crow. Mm -hmm. Not having it. I can't find any. Oh, oh Zima oh, getting oh, blocked. Oh, he's done. Blocks from Zai coming out. The right click's easy for his blood. Seventeen for zero, boys. What a hero, Terror Blade. <laughs> yeah. Very fair. <laughs> balance. Do you guys actually think he's not balanced? Like for real? TB? Yeah. No, I think it's balanced. Probably it's just... not balanced to a certain extent. I don't know. Mm. I'm not the fact that his uh, like metamorphosis isn't an ultimate is kind of weird to me. I mean, I mean in, in Dota be... 1, Metamorphosis used to give plus damage instead of base damage. Yes. Right? So I think maybe if that change were implemented, I think it would be a lot more balanced. His illusions do so much damage right now, right? Mm -hmm. And you have to spend a lot of focus, uh, resources to focus down the main hero. Yeah. So maybe if they tone down the damage of Yeah, that actually makes a lot of bad, sense. Yeah. The illusions seem to be the real issue because you just take down tower so fast. Yeah. If it's just the one hero, then that's not an issue for the most part. Mm -hmm. but, um. Universe is going to be bottom. He's playing the offlane um, Nature's Prophet. They try to block him, but they can't. So he's been playing you a lot. You don't of like to. He was talking about this last. What's night. Universe doing? I don't know. Uh, he was. He was just stuck him? there. Yeah, Using the courier. He's dead. Oh, right universe. Quick. What? He was oh. just standing there. That was so uncharacteristic of him. Was he stomped? I don't think so. He wasn't stomped. He didn't have to sleep. And there's a Wraith Fire oh, Blast on his still getting chased down. Uh, That's a double DD. damage rune. Universe gets back in TP. Is he going to die himself? No. You are dead, my friend. Zai getting another kill. Well, Universe makes up for that with a little XP, I suppose. I guess. That, that was his plan the entire time. <laughs> yeah. We're going to TP on the tide. We're going to get a kill. Let's go. Well, now he has to walk all the way back. I no, no, no. He has a TP, actually. Oh, yeah, he has a, oh you're right. That foresight. He's covering so all handy. the bases, man. Yeah. What a player. That is a slow courier. Oh, he's gonna die again? Yeah, he gets sleeped up, and now they're just gonna right click him down as well. Body block, Kroki well, doesn't get it off, but he should still go down here. Maybe oh, they're not gonna dive he him. Leaves. He gets away just in time. Wow. And Zai just trying to zone out the Zeus. Zai's in work right here with that DD, which just expired. So, time to go home, I guess. Like he will go back to up. Yeah. For Zeus, this is more a question for Merlini since he is the, the master. Zeus Masters. Is there any other skill build other than the one? Uh, like that you could find viable in Before you could do like the stats bolt build, but with bottle crow, no. One, stats two. bolt? Huh. With no, nothing well, in people, static field? People like to get magic stick a lot before, and that was like your only oh, source see, of yeah. mana regeneration, okay. so you didn't want to feed people stick charges, but now it doesn't really matter, because they have infinite mana anyways with bottle crow. Okay. So. I bet you were super excited when they made those changes so you could target the ground. That was pretty nice. Yeah, yeah I like that a lot. If, I think if bottle crow were taken out, Zeus would be a lot stronger, though. You can Same with a lot of heroes level. like Queen yeah. of Pain and yeah, I, I still fervently despise Bottle Crow. Yeah, I think I the agree. mechanic should not be in the game. I mean, on, some, on one level, it, it does let a lot of other heroes play mid, which is kind of cool from a viewer's viewer's standpoint. Yeah, but you're talking about it. I mean, it also takes a lot of heroes out of a yeah. position of dominance. I wouldn't say a lot though. Honestly. Well, think about this. Uh, but just re right before Dota 2 came out, Lion was a very very solid mid. I think Lion is like the best one v one mid. Without, not including ganks. I keep saying that, nobody believes me. Except. Yeah, well, the thing is that you Get can't level no, six, no. I'm gonna finger you, let's go! Mana would own you. You just mana drain him. Mm-hmm. Yeah. How, mu wait, how, how much mana is Plague Ward? Yeah, 15. Okay, so then maybe mana, mana drain isn't so. too good. Uh, 20, sorry. I think, I think that's the case for, like, a lot of support mids. You think about a lot of support mids, nobody really talks about, like, Bane mid with Enfeeble, or even, yeah. like, Ross mid with, uh, you know, War Traps. Well, and even Cuddle, but the thing is, okay, you're a support, you want mid, now what? <laughs> yeah, what do you transition into? I think Lion getting farm really... I mean, think of it this way. The way that the metagame's kind of shifting is you you get levels on somebody, you transition out and give levels to your, yes. your support, but right. you can do the opposite even. Yes. Get fast levels on your Lion, get a quick blink dagger, and then you can just roam around the rest of the game. I mean, early blink dagger or something like Lion, with the level 1 hex being, what, two and a half seconds, which is ridiculous? Yeah. That's pretty strong. But generally now people want either very tanky mids or heroes that can stay back and farm a lot. Like Zeus can just spam arc from a very far distance. Like Brewmaster, very survivable. It's also a lot about the AoE control as well. You think about yeah. Puck, you think about Brewmaster. And Lion just doesn't have that utensil. utensil. I, I just don't think it's the same type of hero. It's good. You can burst the hero down and they die very quickly. I guess you could add it. Rasta to that mix as well. Yes. Rasta like used to be very popular mm -hmm. too. Yeah. 
Uh, I like how PPD and Zai have been constantly pulling all the time. PPD is already level 4, 5 minutes into the game, which for a support is pretty amazing. I don't know why they're prioritizing so much levels on him, because Poison Nova is kind of cool, but you kind of pop Poison Nova and you're out of mana if you're a support. But, I mean, they're encountering a lot of farm on their supports, which is pretty nice. That's just the EG Sal. Make sure you get up Zai, make sure you get up PBD. And PBD just wants level 7 and then he's good to go. And then you just hit your, your R button and if you die in the fight then you die, but as, as long as you get your R button off, you're good to go. And you can't stand up in a fight if there's Metamorphosis and PBD has his ultimate. Yeah. It's just too much. And plus this push right now that you're clearly seeing is ridiculous. The Terrible coming out. They will rotate the Elder Titan here. They're gonna push him back and it's so oh, hard to push slip. into the Elder Titan with that stomp coming out as well. That was a scary mother effort, I'll tell you what. <laughs> Freaking mm. terrible. <laughs> Dyer's bottom tower is Let's get the Arcana attack. as well. His Arcana is really weird. Dyer's it's like not colorful. Well, I think he made it black. Or yeah, something. yeah, yeah, yeah. Our Taurus is black, yeah. I think uh, someone had a blue one yesterday that I remember. Is black maybe? Black. Yeah, black's blue ones. I like the white ones as well. Do you like the pink one? I'm not, I haven't seen the pink one, so I don't know what it I like, like the pink one. So how's Kuro's form? We haven't really focused on him at all. Uh, 1,000 gold, Aquila, Quelling Blade bottle. So he's getting up there, actually. He has, what, 39 CS? Not as much as Artur, but he's in an okay spot. He's looking to go for the early ratings, obviously, and that should be pretty good for him. Mm -hmm. Does he go straight there? Uh, drum's optional. I think drum is okay here. EG probably going to take a lot of towers early, so... I'm kinda what, what is the, what is the rational for... Hmm? Four drums? Yeah, just so you can fight early. Gives you a little bit more mana, oh, you know, maybe it helps you survive a multicast or whatever it may be. Oh, oh that flight won't slow though, and now the lightning bolt. Zeus is ult as well, they will not get the kill on fear. Now the magic missile, they will turn it around. It's a one for one exchange. Universe comes in as well, no TP, he has nature's wrath. He will not be able to fight this. Oh, the body block the blocks, puppy, blocks. it's a little bit too late. He did miss the spirit, stop coming in. Plague Ward coming out as well, will turn this. Puppy is a little yeah, bit too deep. Seems. Yeah, they have to back away, and so just a one for one exchange, mid for a mid, and a lot of action happening. Yeah. That was pretty good. Uh, one for one trade. But Zeus didn't get any levels out of that. That's probably the most important thing, especially this this time of the game. Mm -hmm. And they used Zeus ult as well, whereas the Ogre ult, you don't have to use that thing. That thing just happened. Yeah. What do you mean you don't? You don't? <laughs> and you know the secret <laughs> button that enables multicast? Please tell me. You've got the insider information. I need it. Fear TP bomb with threads, Kuro. Wraith Fire Blasted, he's in some trouble. Multicast uh -huh. goes out song, he does get it off. Nature's Ooh. Wrath, that took him down pretty low. He's gonna have to TP away immediately. The Ignite did a lot of damage, but he will survive. RTZ contesting the top room, looking for no two. Mm. I don't think he has a problem have the Look at that stack, though. Wait, so do they know that? Did, have they seen that stack? I don't think so. They could put a Plague Ward up there and find out very easily, though, in PPD. Um, he's not doing so, but they could definitely contest that with Terrorblade at some point. They shouldn't give that away to Simba for free. Definitely not. Definitely not. Oh, that's a really hard ancient to fight because when you fight there, you're fighting usually downhill and you're at a choke too. Yeah. So it's it, you have to take down the mid tower generally before. What you if you come that. from behind, like from the secret shop route? I mean, it takes a while though, right? They have what, plague wars plus maybe some nature's prophet summons. It takes a while. That's a big ancient stack because those are really difficult to contest unless you have a good ancient. Uh, oh boy. Like, you know, beast or something. out of position. Here comes in. No multicast coming in except for the ignite. Now that the lightning bolt swap out oh. as well. Mark lightning. Zeus is up, but fear is so damn tanky. I got all this body fat. You can't kill me. They do get the kill on Zai, the Wraith King, somewhere else across the map. He's gone. Big Daddy's gonna, gonna stop him up. Oh. There's gonna be a fire blast. And Croaky comes in. Riptide. They do get the kill. Fear diving too deep. And they also do get the kill as Universe TP's in and takes down Puppy, who is on the retreat. And up, uh, actually in the lane, Zai died, so... Big winner of these was terribly that on the, in the meantime, he's just uh, farming, pushing, he gets a tier 1 tower. This was all happening in Naga's lane, so she couldn't farm as fast, and uh, EG, creating space for Artur. Yeah, this is just Artur's MO. He's in heaven right now. What do you think about terribly going Radiance against uh, Naga? You don't see Radiance as often, obviously, but do you think it's better against Naga than it would be a normal, uh, like any other hero? Consider it just... To some degree, kind of cancels it out. In terms of man fighting, that's not really what you get radiance for. In terms of being able to split push, uh, so I would say I mean, yeah. yeah. But EG, like I think, is actually pretty good at keeping their lanes pushed out, especially with the nature's profit on their team. Maybe if they didn't have it, okay. I think it'd be a much more viable. They're just trying to get up. Oh, yeah. Ravage, you got body blocked by his own teammate. Fear is in some trouble. Ravage is going to go raid fire so blast. Tanky. Swap out. Fear is in trouble. Not done yet, though. Everyone is low from. Here comes Universe, he's gonna get one, will he get two? Zai's magic missile down, there's one, Puppy's still alive, TP out from Kuro, he leaves Puppy to die. Two for two exchange, actually it was the reincarnation used from Zai as he is level six now. 
He's good to go. That was a very good fight for EG. They get the Tide Hunter. They waste the Ravage just to kill Fear. Which normally if you use your ultimate for one kill it's okay. It's okay to use the Ravage, the Black Hole. But the aftermath, leaving the Vengeful Spirit and the Tide Hunter dead, definitely not worth it. It was pretty smart of Fear to get Treads, I think, over Arcanes. Because uh, he needs that extra HP. He's been like surprisingly tanky. And Ogre you generally think is you know pretty tanky, but... Yeah. Um, Secret, oh, obviously. Tide Hunter is going to do those ancients, I think. Yeah, and he's going to get... He's actually pretty far away from that. He's, that, right, he's uh, at 570 gold. Let's keep track of this. So this will Over probably. under on his gold after uh, this. Yeah. Uh, 1400? No, I'd that's say 1600. I'd say under. I'll say over 1600. Over 1600. Alright, we'll see. Uh, 1100 we'll see. gold? Okay. Yeah. yeah. I mean, they get the kill on no tail. As uh, Fear just walks mid and just blows him up, it looks like, with the Wraith Fire Blast from his eyes. Well, and you guys, you said 1600, right? Yeah. Still two dragons, dude. Yeah, there's still we'll a few We'll left. see, hold on. Just. <laughs> dragons are. Come on, towers. Oh, okay. that was a low dragon. I'm already wrong. I was above 1400. Easy. Yeah. Dragons yeah, at least yeah, 200. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, guys. Damn. That math, though. I'm Asian, man. 16. <laughs> <laughs> there's one more. It's gonna be like yeah, it's gonna be eighteen hundred. Ah, yeah. eighty gold. It's pretty sick. Smoke of deceit gank down bottom. Who are they gonna find? It's gonna be Crow. This could be a huge kill. He doesn't have song. It's on cooldown. Uh -oh. Great fire uh -oh. blast. Oh, he does have song. It's gonna go. Oh, oh! He's gonna get the kill. The clubs to the face. Fear gets it done. He's down for thirty-two seconds. What a big kill. He had twenty-nine hundred gold uh, after his death. So they do stifle his radiance farm a bit. Mm -hmm. And TB is just so far ahead of the Naga right now. After that tower and after that death. To be fair, I don't think the multicast would have mattered. He still had like Ignite plus Plague Ward damage on him, so probably still would have ticked down. Oh, he yeah. didn't have a TP score either. So yeah, he even if he had song, he would still die. The old Nature's Prophet Blade Mail build. I love this. For a second, I thought PPD was flaming when he was like lagging <laughs> to the Naga side of that. <laughs> got him. You got okay? Uh, Naga's cast point, though. Yeah. <laughs> so slow. <laughs> it is. Our button, please. Hey. Raise your hands. You have to breathe deep to actually sing, you know? So you <gasps> I need to sing the song of my people. I need Even to live. Even split, split is pretty long too. Well, they changed that though. Did they? What the Bruce split? No, no, no. no the uh, Naga split. Naga split. Okay. Yeah. It was like, I thought you were talking about Brewmaster for a second. We find on different servers again. But chat is lagging. Wonder if they're having ping issues. We had a little bit of this yesterday, I think, as well. Um, the Vici Secret Series. So. Volvo. Volvo, please. No, but it says. It's can't open up stuff on browser. It's Volvo, man. It, it affects your computers. It's infecting <laughs> the entire network. <laughs> them. God damn it. It's Skynet. It's alive. Have you guys seen the trailer for the new Terminator? I didn't even know no. there was a new Terminator coming out until somebody told me recently, and I'm like, <laughs> where have I been? Like, can somebody <laughs> show this to me? So I'm so over Terminator. The last ones have been garbage. Yeah, the last yeah, one's yeah. been really bad. That's true. Wait, how many were there? Four, right? Mm -hmm. There was Yeah, there was the first three, and then there was Terminator. No, there was the first two. Okay, then well, yes, the yeah. first two were amazing. And then there's the third one with Arnold again, and we're yeah. like, who are these other actors? And then the guy from Avatar. Yes. That was the fourth one. Wasn't there one with Christian Bale also? Christian Bale, yeah. Yeah, that Christian one as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I actually didn't see that one. Was that any good? No. Uh, it was better than T3, I think. Well, anything. I think so. Dump is better I think than it was T3, better so. than T3, but I don't think it was better by much. I, 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 the only thing that really saved that movie is, again, probably Christian Bale because his acting is always on point. But like, it was kind of a silly movie to be honest. Does it yeah. ruin it for you knowing that he's just a complete jerk? It, it does. Not I really, try not no. to let it affect me, but it kind of no. does. We had this kind of conversation yet the other day where we talked about. Um, personalities and stuff like that and I, I don't think it's really that big of an issue honestly as long as he performs doing his actual job so he could be like a, a serial murderer or whatever well, I didn't say that I, no. I mean oh. I keep it within that. the realms of the law I mean like he could be a jerk if he murders people that's different you know <laughs> like, we're, we're, we're talking about well, well, not like probably be in jail at that point but, but I don't know sounds a little too lax for my taste maybe it was one outburst one day. No. Yeah, the bad day. No, yeah, a jerk. It, it was like probably the only, the one and only time he was just being <laughs> a jerk, yeah. and it's just all over the internet. Now no. this guy's just famous for being a jerk. No, that's not true though. I've heard inside stories, bro. I know people on the inside. Ah, uh, you know, you do know people on the inside, yeah. Yeah, and apparently Chevy Chase is also an absolute racist. I've heard that as well. No, yeah, but that he he totally looks apart. 
<laughs> he <laughs> plays Damn, himself dude. on TV. That doesn't make it better. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he's, everybody forgives the racism of, of Chevy Chase because <laughs> yeah. he's just so lovable somehow. Somehow a lovable racist. I don't know how that's possible. But. And at this point, he's kind of. It seems like he's kind of senile as well, so he can get away with it. I think for the most part. Have you guys watched Community at all? Or like, yeah, yeah. I never liked him in Community. He's good. Kind of no, yeah, no. I know. Think, I think everyone else in that show is great. And then you look at Chevy Chase, and you're just like, what are you doing here, man? Yeah. Exactly. I think yeah. he's thinking the same thing. Didn't he just leave? He yeah, just he left. left. He left. He just left. Like, that's like that's him, man. Like, how can you get away with that? You just leave a TV show at one point. Dota. Anyways, we're back into the game. Here we go. Five to eight the score currently, 12 and a half minutes into the game. Terrorblade, like you mentioned, Ben, far and away your leader in terms of net worth in CS as well. And brokey has got some catching up to do, it looks like. The good old Arteezy Terrorblade. Rot row. Rot row. Wiggly wiggly. Volvo. <laughs> please. Volvo, Only. come fix our internet, please. Only in the morning, guys. Hmm. Our tour seems to be salty about it, as he always is. So back to Christian Bale. <laughs> <laughs> back to Terminator. Let's talk about back anything but Dota. So there, there's, there's Terminator, there's Jurassic there's World. Jurassic World, there's Star Wars. Which is by far the most hype one, easily. Wait, wait, wait. Well, they didn't show anything. They just show the lightsaber with things and a little ball. Yeah, but I mean, at least the CGI looked good. At least it looked well, like Well, just the fact that it's Star Wars is already more hype. Yeah, it's JG yeah. Jurassic World looked like the worst movie. Yeah. Ever. Also, it doesn't have Jeff Goldblum, so that's an immediate, like, they lost. Wait, I thought he was... Yeah. He's definitely not in it? I don't think he's in it. I mean, he might be a cameo, but I don't think he's right, part I of have to cast. admit, it doesn't really make or break the movie for me. What? What's your opinion on Jeff Goldblum, Ben? I don't know anything about pop culture. Oh. <laughs> that's right, I keep forgetting this. Like, we're talking about this stuff with you, and you're just like... Wait, Merlin, don't you don't yet. watch movies at all? I watch some movies, but... All right, what's your favorite movie, I don't then? really like actors... I don't really know actors and actresses by name, though, because I don't follow the all right, favorite movie. Favorite movie? Um, I like most of the popular ones. Mm. That's not... <laughs> that's I, not really I really, that's I really not dislike theater. Gravity, though. Okay. I'm on the... All right, forget about this, like, your favorite movie. Favorite? I like... Specific. I like The Dark Knight. Okay. Okay. So that's yeah, that's, yeah, fair. that's fair. Yeah. You and LDR are on that gravity hatred. Gravity is awful. Like, I, I don't like, know I why see, you hate it so much. I see, like, terrible. A, what, I forget whatever, mo whatever the, oh, it was uh, the Interstellar movie that came out, and I just saw, like, LD tweeting, like, gravity's such a shit movie or something like that. I'm like, both <laughs> you guys hate that movie. There's no story, dude. I mean, it's it was exciting to watch, like, in IMAX. Like, yeah, there's no story, but that's not the point. It's of like the movie. watching a picture book, dude. <laughs> that's that what doesn't I, entertain you? No. Uh, were you all in the same room at the same time? I feel like LD infected no, everybody no, no, with this thing. I watched it with someone else. Okay. All right. All right. Well, um... To each their own, I suppose. Ugh. <laughs> Man. <laughs> Just shivers of disgust. The Room is my favorite movie. What a great movie. The though. Room? The Room is pretty really good. Which one's that? I hear I hear stuff. We're gonna get it back. Oh, yeah. Back to the game. Yeah. Malik can't wait. Yeah. He's, He's like, no I'm so out of my there. element. Bring <laughs> me Dota. I'm just listening. It's okay. <laughs> Uh, Universe Farming, he's ancient. He's nowhere near getting 1,800 gold out of the what ancient. What do you think about the blade mail? What? No talisman thing that's been... Okay. Oh, dude, it's pretty good. Like, look at the damage. Profit. Yeah, it's the burst damage and... Look at the damage. He's, like, doing 140 damage almost. And, um... Cuddle hat? It's gonna do a lot. I, I think I think with against the uh, the AOE in this game against the No Tail against Zeus against everything that Secret have Blade Mail is such a good pickup this game I think in all honesty and um, it's the right way to go. We've seen Universe do a, a numerous amount of builds. We've seen the Maelstrom build. We've seen him go Midas before as well. But I think Blade Mail makes. Oh, they found fear. Uh, he's gonna get spotted out by. Well, it tells you that they want to fight a lot before the Naga gets Radiance plus a couple of other items. Because yeah. TB's gonna have Manta fairly soon, and then with the Blade Mail, I mean, they're not going for let's say a Necro Book. They're not going for a Midas, a Maelstrom, Blink, whatever split push build you want to go. So they're looking to bring the fight early before Secret gets the big items. Refresher on Tide too, which Simba get very, very often. So Secret needs to make sure they shore up their defenses, fight with Naga if necessary, or just sleep, uh, disengage, and split push and delay until later when the farming between Terrorblade and, Ma uh, and uh, Naga can even out. And we're seeing a smoke by Suga. I think they're trying to create some space for Naga to finish that raid. They're going to find Universe. He's closer. out of position. He sees the spirit. TP coming in from Puppy. The stop oh, going in. Max so gets the blade mill off. Not doing anything. <laughs> wow, he got blown up. What a great pickup. <laughs> uh, he was just sitting there farming, just minding his own business. He just gets destroyed. When I see that pickup, it's, I think of Skyrath Mage for some reason. Yeah. Very common pickup. Or Pugna. Yeah, Pugna too. Pugna's fun. We don't ever see... I think that's a very... That's an underpicked hero, is Pugna. You know, I thought so too. I was like, oh man, they should pick Pugna. And then the times that I've seen him, it's just like completely failed. Like they take the T1s, and you're like, oh man, this is going so good for Pugna. And then they just 
they can't do anything. After I feel that. like the hero has like an identity crisis. The buff to <laughs> help your teammates when he should be a core hero. Like he's kind of in between. What am I, degree. Ice Frog? Tell me, I need to know. <laughs> it's seriously, man. The hero. Well, that, the not a core, thing. not a support, a core port. <laughs> TI4, when all of the pushing actually mattered, and they didn't change the bounties to the towers and stuff, that hero was fine. Now the yeah. hero is like, I don't get any gold from these tower kills anymore. It's awful. I don't know what I'm doing anymore. With no, but team. even then, he wasn't even picked that consistently. No, he wasn't. You know? It was always like Razor, Furion. I feel like when I when I think of the hero, other than like pushing the towers, Nether Ward, or with the Nether Blast, Nether Ward against specific heroes like Sand King, which isn't even picked that much yeah. anymore. Yeah. It's just like such a good counter to specific heroes. The first Rasta, the sky. It's very situational yeah. as is any hero, but well. Vici liked it a lot. They did, they did. I think that hero needs a little bit of a rework. Vici also like picked like Lone Druid as well too, to a certain extent during that, that time period. I, I saw it a couple of times I think, but it was just an all up pushing Oh, oh multicast! and slow and <laughs> The RNG comes out again from Fear and I wonder, what's he sitting at in terms of itemization for Fear right now? He, he must He's on be. a point booster. He's probably so getting close, yeah. Is it going to be the Ags right away? Yeah, I mean, it well, has to be. I was talking to Fear yesterday, and uh, he was telling me that to him, Ags on Ogre is the best Ags in the game. Yeah. Really? Hmm. Yeah. And essentially, if you're a support, really? he was saying that. And that if you're a support, and you just get brown boots and an Ags, suddenly that hero becomes as threatening as a core. Yeah. There's a couple. I mean, Witch Doctor is pretty darn good. Tiny's yeah, yeah, yeah. is really good. He might be using hyperbole. Okay. He was that, that's EG, that. though. They, they go for the, they, the blanket statements. They, you know? yes. they really do. This is the best. This is the worst. There's no in-between. Well, they're going to go for Roshan now. Arteezy pops the Metamorphosis. The all-black Terrible Arcana. That's so already sick. I won't lie. And uh, Universe and Arteezy are going to go to work, and they should take this down pretty quickly. So this is going to be another objective taken for Evil Geniuses. And although the Astral is going to come out, maybe you think about contesting this if you're secret you have your ravage there is no song obviously but with ravage maybe they go in here sprout's gonna be up that's actually i don't think anywhere of note elder titan's such an amazing hero against roshan though one of the best i would say it used to be all about the bat rider but now it's all about the elder titan 17 minute radiance not too shabby yeah, that's not bad hmm? He got killed once, and yeah. then the rest of the time he was just farming getting kills as well he's but been involved so. he's not going to be fighting so like the Almost all you always get like boots of travel right afterwards, which just helps to split push, and then yeah. you start to get a little bit more. He tanky. might set something up with song um, if he needs to, but for the most part, he'll probably just sit back and farm. I think. Um, they, they, I don't know if they just let this go, this Roshan go for free, and they, and they certainly they should song. not. They have they have a lot of good team fight um, too. They just need Elder Titan to keep stomping Roshan. Mm -hmm. I haven't really seen the Zeus being that effective of a pick so far. No, th I mean, there haven't really been that many big engagements either. And you have these big fat heroes near yeah, your face. Yeah, exactly. Like Zai on the Wraith and Ogre that are difficult to burst down quickly with Zeus. Smoke of Deceit Gang's gonna go. They're uh -huh. gonna run into a couple of Illusions. Illusions battling. And oh, oh, oh fire! Yeah, they get caught out. Magic Missile, Lightning Bolt comes down from the heavens. They blow him up, and he was just in the wrong place at the wrong time. And, and Kuro Knight might be pushing this tower and getting this, uh, which is the second one. Oh, TB looks like he was heading into Roshan. I don't know if they're planning on doing that. He doesn't have a metamorphosis anymore. It's not easy to take now. They don't have Treants. They, they're, they're probably just going to trade Tier 1 towers at this point. Tier 1 tower top goes. Tier 1 bottom is going to get glyphed. And so far, no TP's coming in. So it looks like they're not going to defend this. They're going to just try to stifle off the push of EG and then go back to work again. Uh, Terrible does have his Manta style, by the way. Plus 200 gold, he has an ultimate orb. I believe that's his on the courier as well, flying out. So his Scotty's already getting started. So as fast as Kuro's Radiance was, and 17 minutes isn't that bad by any stretch of the imagination, Terrible is just on another level right now, it seems like. But he, yeah, go ahead. Uh, he'll still like catch up really easily, though, once he has Radiance. Like, Naga doesn't really have any farming tools. She's not that great at jungling prior to Radiance, unlike Terrorblade. Um, but I think once Terrorblade gets, like, Manta Scotty, he'll be, like, strongest uh, relative to Naga than he will be. And then after that point, the gap will close a lot. Right now, it's already starting to close, but Scotty's just such a big up on the Terrorblade. But I don't know if they'll be able to put Tigran with it unless they get the Aegis. Yeah, they, they really do need that Roshan, and... I, I expect to see a play happen around that pit, whether it's a smoke gank or a smoke into the pit from either team. It'd be huge. But the Astral's going to keep coming out over and over and over again for No-Tail. The Scott at the Roshan, so... Question for you guys. If Sino keeps getting farmed, which he seems to be doing, uh, is Servlay really forced to go BKB right here? Of course, he doesn't want to. I think to. so. Double Ravage? I mean, with Elder Titan, it's just so easy to kill a Terrorblade without a BKB. And they don't have any defensive heroes either, right? They don't have a Vengeful Spirit like you'll usually see on the side of a Terrorblade. Um, oh, wow, he went so. four stuff. Four the stuff on... 
Uh, Ty Hunter. Ty, he had yeah. 2.3k gold and he's still going for refresher directly. He, he wants just more movement options, that's fine. Blink, blink 4 stuff. Interesting. I've seen this a lot oh, though. There's a couple 4 stuffs on our team now, but... I mean, Secret's big advantage is team fights, and like you said, there's no true BKB holders for EG. They, it's kind of like, like they have to force it. Yep. And as a result, I think Zeus getting an early Veil would be really good, but I don't know if that's going to happen. Yeah, we'll have to wait and see. And also... Oh, oh nice oh, deal. Four staff. The fourth, there yeah. you go. It's already, already worth already. it. <laughs> it off. Uh -oh. gets stomped up. He's stunned. And Zaz yeah. on the backside, and they're, they're not going to go for this. And Simba has the haste trunin. Coming back away. Fear's Ag is actually almost done. He is one component away. Um, the way this game's been playing, you'd think it was a best of one for third place. Yeah. Very, pretty passive overall. It's not the high flashy style we saw coming out from those first couple of games from both squads in EG and Cloud9, but I think right now Evil Geniuses, they're in a good position, but you talked about that other, the Naga get, getting farmed, the Tidehunter getting the Refresh Orb, and I feel like there is this kind of a clock for Evil Geniuses. Yeah. Oh, universe gonna gonna oh, wow, the damage of Puppy. He melts with our TC and his 4 collect price and Universe is going to go down. Uh, but yeah, insane amount of damage with that blade mate. And some people have been saying that like Zeus is really good versus Terror Blade because you can ult and then find the right Terror Blade and then immediately burst him down. But they have plenty of AoE already to kind of destroy their illusions. Do you think uh, TV picks up PKB next? Is that 100% necessary after the Scotty? If they want to push high ground, yes. Mm -hmm. If they don't, then Butterfly and just keep farming. I don't know if that's the best idea, though. Like, if you keep farming, the Naga's just going to pass you, I think. Well, I mean, pushing into a Tidehunter and Naga is not a good idea either. Yeah. So, it's it All depends on what they want. So, who has the late game? I would say Secret, because they have better ultimates. Like, Venom ult, whatever. Like, you're fighting against Illusions, which is not that great. Uh, Ogre is decent, but he doesn't really have any mobility right now, and... I just think that the stomp plus ravage and then sleep and then the defensive cooldown, defensive uh, swap is going to be really, really big too. And they don't really have a good way to protect Terrorblade. They could just all in on Terrorblade yeah. and then take the fight. I from feel there. like the way games have been playing since this last patch, it's all about the refresher. Like whoever, whichever team has the most refreshers has the best chance of winning. Mm -hmm. Not sure if I like that. But the Refresher is a strange item. It, it's so mm -hmm. freaking good. And we talked about how maybe they can nerf it so it doesn't include BKB, but is that even enough? I don't know. Mm. Let's wait and see. I mean, oh, this is like a easy. cool... Like, go back like a year and a half, and then throughout the entire Dota history, Refresher's never really been core yeah. on anybody. Oh, they're oh, getting Zai, but he's going to slow people. I don't know if that's what they really want. That Puff is already caught out of position, not done yet. There's going to be the Earth Splitter going in Ravage as well. Zai is out of the fight, it looks like. He's not even close. He does get stomped him. Ooh, Two Soul goes, him. does so much damage. They have to back away now. Arteezy Sunders onto S4. Multicast goes in, but it's not looking like the best fight for Evil Geniuses. Poison Nova gets off. Arteezy's done as well. Natural Order, the Zeus damage, the AoE is real. Secret are going to work. They take down four. They're probably going to take down five as well. Kuro is Coming in fourth step, gosh, easy five man wipe coming out from secret. Beautiful swap coming out from Puppy to set that fight up and then the stop as well. Bloodstone? Yeah, yes. he just yes. built a bloodstone. Yeah. Like he got him. Um, well, he suicided. Yeah. Oh, buddy. And as I pointed out, suicide did happen. Yeah. So. So it's a five for one almost. Yeah. Five for two. But uh, I'm actually surprised because. Uh, I, I didn't expect Zeus to go for a blast. Normally you see them wanting to go for the Axe, Refresher, Veil. There's so many choices for the Zeus, but he decides to go first for the 4 stuff, now for the Bloodstone. And uh, I guess this means that they will want to fight a lot against CG from now on. Well, especially with after that fight. Now Naga's finally leapfrogged ahead over Terrorblade. That did not take long. I expected it to happen like maybe around a 30 minute mark. Yeah. yeah. I think not getting Roshan earlier hurt um, Evil Geniuses a lot. And oh, they are going to find no skill though. They're going to pick up a kill. He's going to try to get his stop off. No such luck though. Just they're, support. They really need BKBs on EG though. Like yeah. Wraith King needs one. Terrorblade needs one. Nature's Prophet eventually at some point too. Yeah. Maybe even Ogre. Could be. Simba's in. They don't have Ravage. Song is available though. And the illusion is already being annoying. They haven't taken the Storm Tower so. Despite losing that fight, they didn't really get an objective off the back end of that. Roshan wasn't taken, the tier 1 tower wasn't taken, so... You're, you're sorry, you still feel very threatened if you're EG, though. You're losing a mid-game fight, and then you don't really have late-game security either. Oh, oh they're going for fear. Trade the stuns, but S4 has a lot of damage here. Fear's gonna fall. Here comes Universe, he tries to collect, but... It's gonna be hard. Zai with the stun, he's gonna get S4. Flashful Spirit dies, S4 is also gonna die right here. And this is a great counter gank. 
from EG. Yeah, they really needed that. Those two kills, although they're, I mean, that's obviously a big target, puppy not so much, but this is what it turns into. It turns into Roshan, and you could still maybe think about contesting. You have Ravage coming off God, cooldown pretty soon. Fun to Zai. So he actually has reincarnation in 12 seconds, so he, he needs to be careful. And I don't know. They, I don't know if they could really commit to this, honestly. Zeus oh, is Ravage back up is up now, seconds. too. Yeah, Ravage is up, so they have to actually just back out of the pit. Can you guys remind me how the Astral Spirit works as far as the minus armor? Because it, it's split or something like that, right? One of them is minus magic, one of them is minus... No, no, physical. no, you're talking about the, the, the aura, or you're talking about... How the, the aura works with the No, the aura spirit. works with both. It's the what same. Uh, the, the stomp, ult? your hero oh. does physical damage, yeah, and okay. the illusion is magical okay, damage. Okay, so that's actually negligible then. Yes. It does very little damage. Nice catch by Universe on Big Daddy in the bottom lane. Big Daddy's not having a fun game. This is what they need to do. They need to find pickoffs. S4 is <laughs> going to get jumped on by Zapper. There's no follow up. Yeah. Zai's going to get caught on. He does have reincarnation. Fear's like, I'm running. Yeah, I'm going to get you. But maybe not so much. And they're just in the back way. Well, I think Scotty's. That's actually a late Scotty if you think about it. He had a lot of the components about yeah. like yeah. five, six yep. minutes ago. He could have had that at like 21, 22 minutes. And now finished at 25. Blink oh, Ravage. Whoa. Oh, it goes on to PPD, but he just TP'd in. Bit of a misplay there from Sid, but they have to back away. Ravage is now on cooldown. Yeah. Jump the gun a bit. They, they might have to blow sleep here. TP coming from Universe. I'm not sure Wait, where. Where's Universe going? I think he's canceled the TP. Okay. I think he's staying bottom for the most part. Multicast. Those, those three ignites going in. The wave's going to get cleared. And there's the Manta now done for the Naga Siren as well. But they're going to head to the Roche Pit for Evil Geniuses. And maybe they can finally fish it now. Can they do it? Can they take it down? This poor Roche. He's so teased, man. <laughs> So you're gonna kill please me kill or not? Kill me. Please, please just kill me. That's still pretty good though that they delayed the first rush until 26. Yeah. That's very impressive. Yeah, if, if you're a seeker right now, you're pretty happy with how this game is going. You just have to make sure that you don't lose a big fight, especially with this Aegis up on RTZ, and, and in turn lose a lot of objectives. So. Yeah, just. They're, they have really good high ground defense, so if it's a straight 5-on-5 five five without any base pickoffs, I think Secret can hold high ground for a very long time. Yeah. And it's going to get easier and easier the more time it, it passes as well. Mm -hmm. There's the Ags for Fear. Apparently the been best been Ags in the game. That should have been done earlier too. We talked yeah. about the Terra Blade and the Scotty, but that, that Ags had all of its components sans a Blade of Alacrity at like maybe 20 minutes. So. That's well, the timing you'll see on a good sub good timing for support. Exactly, that's what I was going to say. It's just like the fact that Ogre doesn't farm particularly fast, even if he was left with a core roll, which allows him to actually get level 13, uh, just doesn't help him with the farm. And the the Goodbye, oh, puppy. puppy is going to die. You got that illusion, buddy. Nice job. Let's but get out of here. ET ult also done. used to no avail. Nothing really Fear trying there. to punch an Naga illusion as well. So... Okay, they're getting a couple of kills here and there. A lot of them on our supports on, on but, you know, No-Tail and the Elder Titan. They got one at S4 earlier, too, so that's good. And they're not really dealing with Kroon, so he's still farming. He's up to 265 CS now, currently. Um, but the more th pickups they get, the more room they make on the map. And, oh, Fear might get spotted well, back away. The kills on those supports aren't terribly useful, right? Elder Titan still has his aura, right. and Venge still has her swap and her auras, too. Uh, whereas Venom oh, is Oh, 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 can he run away? No. Oh. He is done, I think. Song, yeah. Oh, wow. Go. Universe should fall here. Kroki will probably pick up the kill, and he will. That's a mega kill streak going for Kroki as well. That's pretty big coming out. So. That's a pretty fast 16. I think EG is going to have the opportunity to really use this Aegis to a high Definitely not. effectiveness. I mean, no. Terrorblade in general is not a very good holder anyway, right? Metamorphosis is such a long cooldown. Yeah. I mean, in theory, it should be pretty good for Secret since they're, uh, they have a lot of ultimates, and you want to you know, trade it for Ravage or something like that. You know, uh, I was talking but. to... The guys from C9 yesterday, and they were half joking, saying, "Man, Phoenix Terrorblade is going to be the new meta game, because if you get Axe on Phoenix, it resets the cooldowns of the normal abilities from the person you pull as well with you." True. Oh well, Puppy's gonna die here. Then uh, is uh, going to work. Simba multicasted twice, and he's in some trouble. Oh, the oh. force on the ground though, but die from the high ground. Rayfire blast, but it does get cracked and chilled off, and he still will go down. That took a bit longer than they might have wanted to. They can still chase, and they find this fort. Nice fort once blasts. again. Yeah, these these four steps have been point, and Zai can't get across the ravine here. The chasm is too but big. But here he's there. He has a DD. This ogre punches hard. Look at oh, three times multicast. It's all going wrong all of a sudden for Secret. Triple kill for Arteezy, and he's just going to go to work now. He's got to continue to conjure images and try to take down these two towers as best as possible. Sunder fear, Sunder fear. <laughs> Sundered an illusion, okay. I believe. That was an illusion. Yeah, I think so. What's the timer on Aegis? Oh, 156? That's yeah, two minutes. Long. 
He won't have Metamorphosis though if they decide to go for Iron, which I, I don't think they will. They'll probably back up. Maybe not. They can set up for. Well, they can get some damage while Tide is down, but that's not for a very long time. I mean, they know that all their ults are still up. Ravage is not used. Zeus ult is now back up after that one kill. And yeah, they can't fight into this. Oh, oh they oh, saw they're gonna get RTZ. Well, it is the Aegis. He's gonna die twice. Yeah, I don't think they're gonna come in. Maybe they will. RTZ getting caught out. Slept. Swap back in, and he's done. Yeah, they're there's no saving die. you. Arthur, we'll sing songs to tell the tales of your valor. <laughs> Maybe Zeus. Wow, you yeah. all that. that. That was. I see what you did there. Interesting. <laughs> what? The day. Really? Zap. He, he doesn't do enough damage to zapping. He's got to zap some more. He has the weirdest build I've does. ever seen for Zeus. <laughs> I was expecting Merlini. mobility or I Veil or something. I almost always prefer Veil over Dagon, mm -hmm. especially with an ET, but... I guess they really want to burst down the the Terror Blade, and would rather have the single target damage than the AoE. So BKB activation. becomes even better now, because remember, Veil will stay on through BKB, so once the BKB is up, the Veil is still on. Dagon... Well, you just can't cast it. The way that EG takes fights, though, aren't really like BKB oriented, though, right? BKB is yeah. for really quick engagements. EG is in it for the long game, right? Metamorphosis lasts a really long time. Wraith King, two lives. Ogre doesn't really need any sort of mana. And Veno is all about the play wards and the damage over time. So EG is looking to take extended fights where, like, even if he does get a BKB, if he BKBs at a wrong time, or I mean, even if he BKBs at the right time, there is no best time, maybe to dodge a Ravage, but. Even so, they still have a ton of sustained damage on both sides. Four staff for PPD now, and it looks like the Secret is going to try to pressure the lanes, pressure the map. Although, I don't know, oh. Zai is just kind of out of position, and that's going to get flown, but Zai yep. he can't even blink out. He's in some trouble. Wraith no, he's Fire Blast fine. Is maybe go. fine, actually. He actually could live here in PPD, thinking about maybe four staffing. Another Fire Blast coming in. There's oh. the most oh. beautiful from Fear. Oh, Zai, right away, Zai. 10 HP. Arteezy gets sleeped up, Sunder goes in as oh, well, the Scotty big slow, Big Daddy goodbye, but he's gonna buy. He doesn't get his full four staff as he buys the Ring of Regen as well as the staff of Wizardry, but that's it. Three deaths for a reincarnation, which is a level two reincarnation, so two minutes. Totally not worth it, and EG with a perfect rotation there, secret. They tried to kill Zai, but he was deceptively tanky. Kira was probably like, team, what are you doing? <laughs> yeah. Can you not do this, please? I'm trying to farm down. Yeah, I just thought about this. Kraken Shell is actually not very good against multicast, like, especially when it's in a big engagement. Because if it gets proc, there's more stuns to come yeah. very, in quick yeah. succession. It's pretty smart. So smart. Song goes in. They're It'll gonna be back. Running the they song. have Ravage. They're ready to go. No refresher. He's gonna pop it here in just a second. It's about to go oh. in. It will. Oh. On to three. They get one kill immediately. That's universe dead. Arteez falls as well. PPD is gonna get net up. Anchor smash. Boom. They get the laser. He's done so. That Dagon was so underwhelming. <laughs> <He's> like, <laughs> yeah. Got him. Just did like no damage to PPD, but they zap him. They get the kill. Easy enough. Pace is picked up for Zai. He's gonna get out of dodge and. Good buyback coming out, good song as well, good high ground defense. This is what you were talking about, I think. The question is, what stops Secret, other than cooldowns, to keep doing this over and over? If EG doesn't go for BKB, this it can potentially happen it every single time. Yeah. They have to get yeah. the BKB. Yeah. We'll have to see if they... I, I'm not sure. Is, is anyone building towards BKB on EG right now? I He's going for Butterfly, looks Universe like, has so. an Ogre Club. That is a BKB recipe as well. Um, he actually has his full Yeah, he has a BKB. Um, Fear has an Ogre yeah, Club. Yeah, but that's Nature's Profit. Well, he, he's doing a decent amount of damage, but it's not going to be enough. I mean, he's yeah. pretty squishy. Zai's going to get caught with the sleep as well. He does have reincarnation. It's level three. TP's not going to work out. S4 slides through with the four staff. Lightning bolts as well. Zeus ult. Oh, oh They're going to chase after him. Gush is going to go, and I think Zai is still dead here. Right there. S goes in, and uh, well, Stop comes out as well. Zai, goodbye, my friend. Looks like you're going to die here, buddy. Universe is TPing in though. Look at this. Nature's Wrath goes to work. And now the game. Oh, wow. Wow. They're going to turn this around. Simba's dead. Two down all day. S4 full staff TP out. He might make it and will do so. Mid lane Artur oh. and Kuroki. Kuroki has to pop the song to stay alive. So slow. He doesn't have a TP scroll though. Oh, he has his boots of travel, but they're on cooldown for 10 seconds. I mean, he has heart. He and fine. Yeah, he's fine. Okay. He's a big boy. He's good to go. And the boy. upgrade of the Dagon begins. I think an Ethereal Blade would have been even better than than the Dagon. I mean, we talked about Veil, we talked about all these other... Anybody that Terra Blade goes on, just Ethereal Teammate. Ethereal Blade D. Or the TB, Terrible since he doesn't have... Uh... Manta. Oh, that's true. On a BKB. Or yeah. just Refresher. That's Refresher's true. good, too. Mm -hmm. Or Axe. 
Lorax. So basically, Dagon's like the bottom point of the barrel. Is, yeah, <laughs> Dagon, <laughs> we don't like it. <laughs> yeah, Veil Refresher and Ghost is probably. I mean, if this goes like choices. 70, 80 minutes, then the Dagon's gonna be pretty good, along with every, every other item he picks up. But right. I don't know about I mean, yours is good too, right? Mm hmm. But. Look at these illusions. These illusions are hard to deal with. Look, Artisi loses 40% of his HP. He went butterfly as well, by the way, so you were talking about that. And he looks like they want to just maybe oh, just have the farm. So. It, yeah, this is the one they want to end the game. If they want to try and end at like 45, you know, you get butterfly, then BKB. If they want to end at 35, you get BKB first and push high ground. But mm -hmm. they he, made that decision. Yeah, he wouldn't have had BKB before anyway. And even if he had, he would have been the only one like in that vicinity with decent HP, so they need to like mass PKBs. What about Zai? Zai, Zai? I mean he's he's a Wraith King, right? Assault Kuros, yeah. He's going for the Vlad's AC. Straight up utility. And he can still get BKB lot. too though, yeah. so he can initiate on people. Um, but for now this is what they need, especially against the other Titan, they need that armor. They need it desperately, and even pushing into the high ground. And it's just pretty good as well, but uh, it's a long ways before that. Secret have... A couple of oh. BOTs. Simba's gonna get forced away from a potential engagement. He's probably fine. Stop goes into the mid lane. They wanna fight now. They're coming back. Fear's trying to fight someone. Around. Is there a swap? Arteezy? I think they gushed him, but he's fine. And Roshan is gonna respawn in a minute and a half. So that could be the next point of contention Smoking for the squads. Smoking time. Dun dun dun. And they're gonna smoke up. They're gonna head over towards the Rosh pit, maybe. Kuroki doesn't get the smoke with them, so maybe he'll bait this to a certain extent. Roche is not up yet. It could be, but it's not. So it's they'll check it work. quickly. Head up towards the ancient stack. Maybe go on Zai here. Could be an okay pickoff. He Zai still does have reincarnation. Time. He blinks away actually, and he's good to go. So I don't know if they're gonna find anybody with this. They might have to dive a tier two tower. Well, there's people there in the tier two. Yeah, and uh, Zai is showing himself. They see. They spot him. Do they want to go for him? I think they he uses his stun. Maybe this is Zai's gonna to walk go. up to the high ground here. Zai, don't do it, man. You're too young. <laughs> it really is. Okay, he's fine actually. He's not gonna do it. They're gonna back away. Talked about how the AC would be really nice. If you really think about it, I mean, it obviously still would be the best pickup for Ichi right now. Look at the minus armor. So you have Venge, you have Elder Titan with the minus the base armor reduction. Yes. You have Riptide from Naga Sign. You have Gush, which we never talk about. That's true. minus armor. How much is that? Is it mi minus seven Six, or I eight? Think. Five. Not okay. even close. Five. Very five. good. Yeah. Gush is like the forgotten spell of. Of Tidehunter. Well, everyone just talks about the nuke damage, and the people Nick like to talk about the, the armor reduction. Yeah, I miss his old, even though this one's obviously better, the Anchor Smash, the old one. Yeah. I really miss that one. He, he was like a carry, almost. The universe got a courier with a quarter stuff, so uh, uh -oh. Naga Sai is not going to have Butterfly anytime soon. Typical Furion, please. Just he he could farm that up in like literally 20 seconds, so yeah. might as well just buy another one. Head in the jungle really? and go. <laughs> yeah. Really? Yeah, just buy it, bro. Just another one. Hey, you're sorry. gonna buy a dag and might as well. Just buy a second quarter stuff. So we see Venom going for a hood. And EG needs a lot of items to push high ground. They need, I would say, a pipe, probably at least two, probably three BK beats mm -hmm. and an Aegis to make it really safe. And that just gives Secret all the time in the world to farm up refresh. Oh, what a right swap now. from Puppy. They get fear. Can they burst him down? They do. And now suddenly it's just like back away. It's the dagon. Gorilla tactics coming from Zap Zap. Secret. There's the BKB finished up for Arteez in the meantime, so they do get Fear, but Arctor does get enough room to farm up, but Fear dead for 50 seconds, this is perfect timing for them to be able to get Roshan, it's respawned already, it's ready to go. Oh, I just, Puppy is level 16 on VS, that's yes. pretty disgusting. Yeah, that's that cool. is why the swap was There's so huge. There's nothing you can do about that now. That we is. didn't even see that coming, and all of a sudden, boom. He if he could it. somehow get Ags, which isn't going to happen, but I think that's one of the top 10 Ags in the game. That is amazing. I like the Ags, yeah, it's pretty good. I haven't looked yet. I have like 20 top 10s though, so that's, that's yeah, the yeah, problem. Yeah. yeah, I think Blink's a lot better for him, just so he doesn't die yeah, Blink when, he, would be good too, when, yeah. he, blink, uh, when he swaps him. This is really bad for EG. They're going to let the Roche of the Aegis go towards uh, Secret Crokey will pick up the Aegis. And, I mean, his Butterfly is going to be coming out as soon as the Courier respawns. He has 5.5k gold yeah. on top of that as well, so... Immensely rich. If any Constellation, he will not be picking any other item until the Aegis expires. I think that secret drafted very well against what EG was prepared to do this game. They have heroes that scale very well into late game, like Zeus with static field, Venge, you know, minus armor percent based aura, uh, tied with refresher. Like all these heroes scale very well. Not to mention Elder Titan, and they have good high ground defense too. So they know that EG can't end the game early, and then we can take this late because we have the better heroes for it. So all they need to do is just not feed, 
getting a lot of farm on Naga Siren, and they've accomplished. Oh, nice goals. dodge! Kind of sidestep the jukes are real. Universe, there's the sprout going. In. Ouch! He has to BKB for this in TP home. He's like, that's just too much damage. The dag on. Yeah, he got zapped, man. What is that level two? Level three? It's I think it's gonna level be two? four now, right? Yeah. yeah. Two more levels are coming. It's on its way. That's frightening. So much burst. Do you know, uh, in a lot of ways, the sorry, the astral spirit works kind of like a veil, I guess. Right? Yeah. I mean, does is it diminishing returns at a certain point? How does that work with if he gets veil on? I mean, top it's of additive, it? not multiplicative, yeah. but it's still really good. Uh, do you know if uh, uh, the Zeus pass you procs and items? No, it doesn't, right? The Zeus no, what? No, it doesn't. No. That'd be sick. Yeah. Four stab. Boom, <laughs> everyone does <laughs> damage. <laughs> Magic stick. <laughs> Trust <laughs> toggle. Trust <laughs> <Basilis> toggle, yeah. <laughs> That'd be amazing. Alright. ET has the uh, Perseverance. Potentially the Lincoln Sphere coming out for uh, No Tail. It's pretty good against a lot of the Suns. You have, obviously... Oh! Puppy, nice oh, blink! Oh, the blink, wow. Disjoints the Wraith Fire Blast and gets away immediately. Like, oh, he got spotted by Ward. And they're TPing in, Kuroki's going to work, and it looks like he's already TPed up there. He's chasing after nice a hero's eyes Nice by us for. Yeah, and cancel this TP. Oh, yeah. Oh, wave they see oh, him! Like, oh, oh, he is done. Uh, okay, uh, bye. -bye. Reincarnation, his blink's on cooldown for a couple Look more Look at seconds. the mini-map. <laughs> Nobody's yeah. within a mile radius. Help Good luck, Zai. Zai. You're right. on your own, dude. 17-0. Yeah. Oh, hope that helps you. <laughs> He's dead for 70 seconds. This could be the first game we see Zai lose on Wraith King. Although nah, that thing that just doesn't happen. Just doesn't They'll happen. find a way <laughs> somehow. The servers will crash or something. <laughs> yeah. Remake. <laughs> the stat side will not record this game for whatever the reason. Radiant H just suddenly dies. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they can't. It, it reminds me of the Gambler. The, the old hero in Dota. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We yeah. have a chance to just get a kill. Alright, <laughs> 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 you just die. No big deal. I never actually got to play that hero though. Throw money at people. So Kuro is actually almost six slotted. That butterfly though. Yeah, he just needs to get another item for that Aegis and then he's good to go. I don't even know what he gets next. The fuse was okay, but was Terror Blade, not so much. Hmm. Hmm. What would you get instead of Defusal? I don't know. Crit? Maybe MKB for the butterfly? <laughs> yeah, but your illusions do a lot of damage. That's true. Mm, I don't know. Desolator! Abyssal? I have no idea. Go Scotty, man. Necro 3 Refresher is what a lot of 7 slot Nagas go for. Oh, yeah, Refresher will eventually be there if the game goes longer. Yeah, that's yeah. for sure. 70 minutes into the game, God yeah. forbid. Ugh. <laughs> we're not there yet. We're at 42 minutes in this first game. It's shaping up to be a good one so far. Yeah, yeah. I mean, if you think about the story of this game, EG has been constantly the best Western team for the last six months, I yes. would say. Yes. And Secret is a team that, in everyone's eyes, has to be the, or has the potential to become exactly. that best team. They're the Miami Heat of a few They few are the years Miami years. Heat, and EG is the San Antonio Spurs. I don't know, at the no. same time as Starlighter, I was like... <laughs> <laughs> at Starlighter, I was very impressed and disappointed by Secret at the same time. Like, some of the drafts I thought were very poor, like letting Lycan slip through so many times mm -hmm. uh, in the pool, and now they just ban it every single time. And at the same time, I was impressed by a lot of their mid-game holds and uh, some of the drafts that... And, like, for example, Elder Titan wasn't that popular back then, so... Yeah. We have to keep in mind that Secret is a fairly new team. As much as these players have known each other, you know, they've known each other for a long period of time, and... But this is like them just coming together right now in the past couple of months since TI4. Whereas you already had the four players of EG and even Fear before Macy came along and before Fear's injury. So, at what point do we stop talking about that? Like, at what point is that not an issue? Um, when they win a land, injury or no? Like, if if they continue to not win lands, let's say, like in three four months, are we still gonna say, oh, they're relatively new? Like, at what point do you stop saying they're? I already think like it's like the chemistry. Not, I already think it's over. Yeah, I don't talk about it. it means what yeah. Oh, here it comes Sai with the jump. Big Daddy no tell is like, I want nothing about nice it, but swap. Puppy with the swap. BKB is popped on RTC. He's gonna melt Puppy, and they're going for Universe right now. Universe has to sing the song of Kuroki, but with all the BKBs, that's not doing that much. The BKBs are gonna run out. Kuroki will run out himself. That's a really good fight for EG, and they're not done yet. Kuroki couldn't leave, actually. Uh, he's so fast, Zai should have his Blink Dagger pretty soon here. Plague Ward's gonna go. They want to keep Vision. That yeah, butterfly, Kuroki's man. <laughs> so damn speedy. He just zips away. Flutter boys. Just pop that I think out. that EG has capitalized on the many mistakes that Secret has made. They've just given away a lot of heroes and when Naga isn't ready to fight. She just lost her Aegis, so she's not really looking to take a fight right now until at least she fills her sixth slot. And 
easy which she doing. she can do at any point now. Yeah, which well, she can do at any point, but still, they're looking for good positioning. They don't want to get BKB zerged by EG. They want to be able to get the jump with uh, Song Initiate or yeah. whatever it may be. Or if even, like, you know, one or two heroes BKB, they just focus them down. Like, Universe, he's really squishy. She went for the Fizzle. Uh, is Simba ready to uh, any close to the refresher, by the way? Uh, he should have it. Oh, yeah. he has it, yeah. yeah he's yeah. good to go. Uh, he, he has double Ravage. He couldn't even get more Ravage off that fight. But yeah. um, The real problem for EG is trying to get high ground. Yes. That's super difficult. We, we've talked about it. So you were saying trying to get high. No. Well, they have no <laughs> I mean, problem with that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's the thing. They take one fight, and then what, what do they transition that into? But eventually that could mount into just everything. Like, if they can force buyback. Oh, one, fresh, two, two. Okay. Dagan, gush. All right. Yes. He's pretty important. Yeah. Okay, rabbit. what do you think about that? Because, yeah, you killed the Terrorblade, but he has buyback. That's uh, okay. They, they just all in on Terrorblade. Yeah. I think they should do that in team fights too. It's just all about him. Okay, now this is awkward. Zai? Can he TP away? buyback either. Oh, no. He's not a buyback. He's up for 80 seconds. The farm concentration is just so high on Terrorblade that, I mean, yeah, sure, Ogre has like Ags and almost BKB and Zai has AC and stuff, but we just saw how, how not useless he is. He just dies really quickly. No one else has any sort of survivability. I mean, they're gonna they're gonna have to force the Terrorblade buyback here, and even that, I mean, that one of Zai to jump in, it's gonna be a four versus five engagement. Although Ravage is down now, um, this still could be a kind of tough defense. But they'll force the buyback probably, then back away. Maybe we'll see. Looks like they're gonna try to get out. Multicast onto S4. Another one going through as well. If your BKB is up, they want to fight this four staff away. Who's coming into the backside? It's Universe pops the BKB. He's going oh, to the crowd. There's gonna be the song going in. They really want his four. They do pick up Puppy, but that's the only kill they've secured. TP away from Kuroki, No Tail, and everyone else on the retreat. They're both gonna TP out. They'll make it away. Oh. That is huge. BKB's forced buyback force, and they only lose Puppy on secret side. So all they are right now is just one terribly death away from potentially taking high ground or ending the game. So, I mean, it's. It's really difficult for Arteza to avoid these sort of ganks, so... You well, now with Ravage down, though, at least for a couple more seconds, you try to push high ground here, pre evil geniuses, or make something happen? <laughs> they still have one Ravage, and they still have sleep up in probably 30 seconds. Well, so. the Ravage is up for another minute, but is that enough time? It, it's, it's too risky, right? Secret has all their buybacks. Yeah. Yep. And if... It's just one terribly death again, and they don't even have the T2 down mid. So maybe you just try to go for another Roshan, another Aegis if you're... Well, Roshan TV. is not up any time soon, right? It's yet. like you need three Minute? minutes, and by that time we'll have double Ravage, we'll have everything. Yeah, yeah. So. so it's going to be tough. They have to find a pick off, maybe for Evil Geniuses, and then transition that into Roshan. They don't have any good way to get picks, though, right? And they don't have... Uh, like, Wraith can can initiate on someone, but Terribly doesn't really have the mobility uh, that Secret has. And if they bait out someone and they get potentially swapped, the fight's over and they'll lose multiple heroes. I think so. that's why Ogre was kind of picked, is to try to get pick offs with that yeah. Aghanim Scepter really yeah, rush. Yeah, yeah. But the problem is. He doesn't have Blink or. They have anything. the swap. They yes. have all this team fight from Secret. Like, what? I don't Going know. Going for that BKB yeah. really hurt Fear. If he could get a Blink Dagger, then things would be a lot easier, but that's not the case. Ravage is coming up cooldown in about seven seconds here. Zeus wants to go. They just want to get Vision. Dagan goes. They get a kill. PPD was. Way out of position. Yeah. Oh, Zai, what are you doing? He's going in right now. He's alone. Zai's going to pop his reincarnation, but where's the follow up coming through here? Simba has Ravage for go. It's about to pop. Zai's getting low and snared up. Oh, bro, he's taking a lot of Ravage right now. His whole song's going to go. Arteezy's full BKB going Ooh. to work. Is it enough? Oh, oh, he's oh. He's, oh. he's going to go. He might make it oh. out. Oh, way. He will survive. They lose two. They lose three evil geniuses. They're going to lose four. Arteezy's Arteezy. going to die. Oh They're yeah, he's gone. Puppy, Puppy magic missile. It's a team wipe. Evil genius is. Oh, oh no! Wait a second. Just in time. Oh. Just at the last second. No one too close. Think, though he's gonna try to go to work. Simba's gonna go. Oh, okay. Get zapped. S4 says no. You are not surviving. Here comes Universe buying back. Gets one. Oh, he gets, gets two. two. Absolute. Oh, it's a healer. Oh, Kuroki's going here. Down. <laughs> Kuroki's gonna come to work, but oh, okay. That's it. Down for 120 seconds there, and that fight was a disaster for Evil Geniuses. My God. They took as much as they could take, but Secret was just so strong. <laughs> they got the advantage by taking the Venomancer at the beginning of the whole fight, and they was just one by one. If Artisi had died when the Venture Fury was attacking him, that would have been a big blow, but the fact that he thundered allowed him a little bit more time, they took a couple of kills. It's not a disaster, but it will probably mean Raxus. And I'm here now, Kuroki won't be surprised yeah, by the double. Forced while so sleeping? Oh, man. That was so good. Arteezy yeah. was almost able to take out Kuroki because of the surprise MKB. He was just too slow. Kuroki popped, I think, his floater and then just made his way out of there. He got hit with an MKB proc, but it wasn't enough. Oh, did enough. he pop his butterfly? GG. I think he did. Yeah. And that's it. Evil geniuses, they know they can't come back from this. They have no buyback on Arteezy. He's dead for 40 seconds. And game number one, Kuroki gets it done with the Naga Siren. And 
beautiful play coming out. A couple of sloppy mistakes coming through for the most part mm -hmm. from Secret, and Evil Geniuses capitalized when they could, but when it came down to it, Secret were able to just take the game through. It was, through force. It was a well-constructed draft from Puppy, and I, yeah, I, I didn't even think they played that well. Yeah. They played decently. Yeah. Uh, I think Kira played particularly well.